Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day. And today is Saturday the 18th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day outside. Got up this morning, earlier than I really wanted to, but got the dogs all taken care of. Uh, went pretty well overnight, we had a couple little incidents where dogs were making noise they shouldn't have been and whatnot and whatever, but overall pretty good day, or pretty good night I guess. So, got the dogs out, got some of them fed. Um, Hopped in the hot tub like I try to do every morning. Got myself loosened up a little bit. And from there, got back in, got the rest of the dogs fed, got them all taken care of, and all the good fun that comes with it. So from there, got a couple other things done around the house. Nothing real major. Um, had to get out and feed the cats, so I got that done. It was my final day for taking care of the cats. So made sure that everything was put away and everything was right in the exact spot. I do everything anyway, but just make sure it's 100% right because apparently the owners are getting back and got to make sure that it's, it looks like it's supposed to. So went ahead. I did hear from them later in the afternoon. They got home late this afternoon. And they texted me and said they were home and thanked me for watching the cats and whatnot. So always a good feeling when I know they're back. So I don't have to worry about the cats anymore. So taking off my plate. But yeah, got that done. Got a few other things taken care of. Um, ended up my mother and my wife decided to run to the store. So they headed out to the store for a while. They decided to run over to New Smyrna. They hit up Walmart, hit up Aldi and a couple other places and whatnot over there. So they were gone for a few hours. Basically, as soon as they left, I started working on putting a tarp over top of my um, pergola that the raccoon tore up. So I was doing it. I really didn't go as smoothly as I thought it was gonna go. It's not placed as well as I need to be. And I think part of the big reason is the fact that I have my giant rope that I didn't want to cut up because it was my, technically my recovery rope I bought from a motorcycle. So when I get stuck in the mud and the sand and whatnot in the swamp, I can use it to pull itself out with called pulleys and whatever. So I made a makeshift little kit for myself. But I decided to heck with it and figured when I get done with the tarp, I can keep my rope. So but the rope's like 20 bucks. So I got a feeling I'm going to cut it up and make it better whole bunch of small ties instead of one big loop tie around things because it just didn't work right so yeah it is what it is but yeah when I got a couple other things done uh, they finally headed home I just got finished up with the whole tarp thing as best I could they were getting home put all the groceries away brought the dogs inside and I had a bunch of dogs we had um, three more dogs get dropped off today that went smoothly everything there was easy peasy not a problem at all I've watched all three of those dogs before and everybody was getting along good um, the boxer puppy was being a little bit of pain in the butt for some of their dogs because the Doberman puppy went home so the boxer puppy had nothing else to really nobody to really beat up on so he was kind of being a little bit aggressive towards a couple of the old dogs so I went ahead and stuck with it and ended up kind of having to watch her a little bit more keep her apart but yeah it's it is what it is it went well everything went good there uh, we ended up hanging around the house for a while my wife got back everything was good got everything all put away all the groceries and whatnot and then from there, I headed in, got my run in, got that all taken care of, got back from the run. I ended up running down. There's like a some land that I don't know if they're going to develop or what they're doing with it, but it is what it is. So I went ahead and went down it, um, got my socks all filled full of sand and whatnot. But ended up from there, got back from my run, ended up hanging around. We had ourselves a nice little meal. Mom made some basically stamped meat, like a manwich type, like an open meat sandwich like Wimpy's used to have. So we had that for dinner, watched a little bit of NCIS, headed back outside, enjoy this gorgeous weather like it is. So yeah, all the pups there. I think I had 10 dogs today. I've had as, I've had 11 before, but it was funny how much different this one was because more work, because last time I had 11, they were all super hyper and they all wrestled and played and wore each other out where it made it a little easier. This one, I had one ornery dog or two ornery dogs before and the one went home, but made it more of a pain in the butt because everybody else was annoyed by those two hungry dogs and then how I to really beat them up and wear them out good so it is what it is but yeah overall great day uh, got a call my wife got a call from her father saying he'd fell Thursday I guess and then of course waits till late Friday afternoon to tell her he thinks he wants to get x-rays he thinks he broke something why he waited from Thursday until late for Saturday I have no damn idea so and he could have told her earlier, he could have got it done earlier in the day, whatever and stuff. So she headed up there after dinner and she didn't get back home until like 11. And it was just nothing broken, took a bunch of x-rays and whatnot. But yeah, that was not, that was just why he waits until, it's almost like he just, I don't know, 
has to inconvenience as much as possible in the whole process there so yeah we'll see um got back no no broken bones she finally got him home she headed back home i was outside with the dogs until she got back because i knew if we were in the house you know, i tried to go to bed and then she came in the dogs all get all barky and all riled up and stuff so it was super late she finally got home um got the dogs in get them all put away for the night and then headed in and crashed out so that's all i got for right now and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching